Hello and welcome to Cornwall. Whoops. My name's Andy Paramore. This is Ivy. She's struggling to get down. Uh, uh, this is Andy's Cornish Creations, and in this video, we're going to make we're going to be making a tea light holder. I'm going to show you the top, so I'm not going to show you the rest until I've uh, until I've finished it. Uh, um, and it's part of Claire's uh, from making it out of the woods. It's her um, challenge, uh, September challenge. And um, and it's just to make a tea light holder. So this is my this is my version of it. Um, so stick around till the end and uh, see how it turns out. Okay, I've uh, I've do already done the glue up because uh, it's a it's a quite a long laborious task. Uh, so I've, I've I've done it already. Uh, we've got four pieces in the centre, uh, Ash and Paduk. Um, we've got, I think it's Sapili, these pieces are round, around the edge, and, uh, and a thin piece of um, Panga Panga. Uh, in hindsight, I could probably have done with picking uh, something that contrasts a bit more with the uh, Sapili, but we'll see what it turns out like. So that's the that's the basic glue up, and it does it does take a quite a long time because you've got to glue those two pieces together, then those two, and then glue those to those, and you can only really put one piece at a time on without it all getting a bit complicated. But anyway, that's that done. I've cut that end off just to show you what what it looks like uh, uh, with a cleaner cut. Uh, now I'm going to mount it between centres. Easy to find the centre because it's the centre of those. Uh, uh, mount it between centres and then we'll turn it round. I got it mounted between centres. I, uh, I knocked the corners off as well with the um, with the bandsaw just to save a little bit of turning time. So we'll turn it round. Got it at 1400. Mask and face shield on. There we go, that's round. I'm just going to do a, um, a tenon on the end now so I can mount it onto the chuck. Okay. Right, I've, uh, I've got these little glass holders for the tea lights. Uh, means you can use a, 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 a lighted one and it's still safe, it's not going to burn the wood or anything so I've got to make this fit into the top so I've got a forcing a bit uh, that's about the same diameter as the bottom this tape is a little bit but uh, I can do that with a chisel and I want it just to protrude slightly uh, out of the top when it's finished I've got a piece of tape on to mark the depth that I'm going to uh, so let's get drilling got it running about 400 
So it was a good idea to hold on to the chuck as well, especially when withdrawing it, because it can pop out of the uh, most taper. And then what you've got is it's it holes in that end, this end comes out and starts flailing around, so it's always a good idea to hold on to your chuck as you especially as you're withdrawing it. Okay, so bottom just goes in, but we need to uh, sort of flare the sides out a little bit to get it to go down to the bottom. case of keep taking a bit off, trying it, taking a bit more off and trying it until we get it down to the bottom. There we go, it's a nice fit, just a little bit sticking out there. We've still got a tidy up the top anyway so that should be that should be okay right we've got a bit of tailstock support again just to keep things safe I'll just um, I'll just make sure it's round again because quite often it just moved a little bit I think. Just at the end there. I'm going to go for a, a really simple shape um, because again I think the wood it's all about the wood not about the uh, actual uh, shape of it the um, the hole comes to about there so I don't want to take too much meat out of it there so I'm going to I'm going to uh, start here and come down and I'm going to make a just a just hollow it out there that same on the other side and then hopefully we'll get down to some of that um, paduk and ash lower down so I'm going to be a bit careful up at this top end um, I'll probably I'll probably part it off here somewhere and um, yeah, that should be a nice size. We've got it to 1400 revs. hint there of what's what's inside
that's the kind of shape I want. I just need to even that curve out a bit. I think I'll use a round, round nose scraper. See how we go. a bit on the tool rest. I'll just smooth the tool rest off and, uh, and come back. Okay so it's just a case of going over the tool rest. I use a block of wood so I don't put any, I don't want to hollow it out or anything. So I want to try and keep it nice and flat and just go over it with a bit of wet and dry just to take any because the chisels can put little dings in. Just take any dings out and then and then put a bit of wax on. It helps the chisels slide. This is beeswax but you could use a, a candle or anything and then and then your chisel. You can see that it's moving along nicely instead of it digging in. Right, let's try that again. shape. I'm going to sand now uh, from uh, probably 120 up to 320 and, uh, and I'll give it some sanding sealer. I'll, uh, I'll do the sanding. <coughs> and, then, uh, and then come back when I've got down to 320. Okay, I've sanded it down to um, what is it? Sanded it down to 240, and um, and I'm getting a bit of the padauk bleeding into the ash. So I'm going to try a um, a little trick from um, from Gary, uh, Papa 1947, and I'm going to use some um, acrylic gloss lacquer. Uh, to spray over it and try to stop the two, uh, or rather the padu going into the ash. So I'm just going to give it a little spray, and he, and he suggested just a light spray at first, just to seal the surface. Okay, do I'll leave that for a few minutes to dry. I'll sand it over again with some uh, with some 320 and do the same process again. Okay, I've put another couple of coats of the um, acrylic lacquer on. I've just given it a little light sanding with 320 grit. I'm going to use some abrasive paste. Wipe off any excess 
paste. Then we'll apply some wood wax 22 polish. feels lovely and it still feels like a, a natural finish it's not too much there's not too much lacquer on there that it's uh, kind of gives it a I don't like it when it looks as though it's got a plastic coat on it and uh, yeah that's nice okay so all we need to do now is to uh, part it off noise is just the tape sanding on the bottom. I'll get that sanded up and then I'll uh, I'll show you what it's like. Okay so there we have it. Um, all finished. Um, got a little tea light in there. It's got the glass um, to uh, make it safe with the wood and all. And um, and there, well, you can see it in this light. I'll have to put some pictures up at the end, but I think, I think it turned out really nice. There's a fair bit of work in the glue up, um, but the actual turning is very simple, and a, and a hole in the top uh, to pop the tea light in. But the, the turning part of it is very simple. The glue up's a bit laborious, and uh, it's not complicated, but it's uh, it's just a bit. Uh, it's just a bit slow, um, so I didn't show that, but you've, we've seen glue ups before. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, um, the video. If you did, please give it that thumbs up and um, share. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, if you do subscribe, ring the little notification bell at the bottom. And, um, and it lets you know if there's, uh, if there's any more videos, if I release any more videos, it lets you know. So that's, uh, that's really handy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I say, this is Claire's challenge. I'll put a little link to, the, um, to Claire's site at the bottom. I'll also put a link to uh, Gary uh, Papa 1947 on there as well with the... Um, with the tip on um, 
on using the, the spray lacquer to stop the pedu bleeding into the ash. But anyway, <coughs> thanks for watching. My name is Andy Paramore, this is Andy's Cornish Creations, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.